Hi and welcome to The Felt Hub with Lincolnshire Fen Crafts. Today you're going to learn about how to needle felt this really easy fox head. This is a time-lapse tutorial but if you want to watch it in real time and felt along with me then just pop over to the channel and look in the video tutorial section. It's a really easy way to make a great fox shape, make it really realistic and add loads of amazing detail. Using one of my favourite tools, the wooden barbecue skewer, we are going to make the fox head in two parts. It just makes it easier to put together and get a really good shape. I'm using carded wool, but you can use a wool top, carded wool, any wool you've got really that's um, the colour that you want for your fox. Um, you can even use a merino wool top, it will work fine as well for this project. And we're just creating a really simple needle felted ball around the wooden skewer which makes it really really easy to create that shape. You can find the full tutorial on my channel for the needle felted balls. So once we've completed this ball, we're firming it up, working around the skewer, we're then going to create the nose separately so that it's actually in two parts. But the trick is get it really nice and firm so that we can add all those fabulous fox details at the end which I'll show you in another video tutorial. Rolling it between your hands is a really good trick as well, just to smooth it out and get rid of any of those needle marks. So onto the nose, you need a really thin piece of wool for this. Keep your fingers close to the skewer, wrap it round, keep one end loose so that you can attach that to the face. Makes it much, much easier. And just keep felting until that shape has come together. Really work on the end where the nose is because you want that to be super firm. Just pull off the wool, felt a little bit more, just keep working on the shape and then take it off the skewer, getting ready to attach it to the face. It's really, really easy. And what you want to do is make sure that, that wool is loose at the end and then you've got some nice fresh wool to attach it to. Looks really odd at first, but we will soon sort that out as we keep felting and shaping. Keep your fingers out of the way. You really don't want to poke them. Always recommend that you use the leather finger guards. And can you see now that shape is starting to shorten. It's grabbing hold of the head part. And then we're just going to build up around the base of the nose to create a really nice shape. So it starts to be rec become recognisable as a fox. Keep working that wool keeping it nice and flat and work diagonally and then just work the surface area just to get rid of needle marks and to work on your final shapes and that's really getting there now. So you just keep working on that until you're really happy and then you'll be ready to add the next details which will be the ears and the nose and the side of the head and those will all be in my next tutorial and you can find them on my channel, The Felt Hub, with Lincoln Japan Crafts. Thanks for joining me.